Hey guys, welcome back. I'm Laura, I'm a hairstylist, and today we're gonna talk about why your hair may be thinner on one side than it is the other side, as well as what you can do to fix it. So believe it or not, this is actually pretty common. First, let's talk about why you may be experiencing this. And the main reason is because you've worn your hair parted in the same spot for a prolonged period of time. Everyday life exposes our hair to stressors that can cause breakage and thinning. And when we wear our hair parted in the same exact spot, the smaller side will thin out more so than the opposite side. This is because of the strength in numbers theory. When there's less hair here, the hair is not as protected. Now the breakage can be caused from a number of different factors, but some common examples are environmental factors like the sun, clips and hair ties or ways that you're styling your hair, or even if the smaller side is the side that you sleep on, that can also cause breakage. Okay, so the second reason is because hair doesn't necessarily grow evenly all over your head. Not every square inch on our head has the same amount of hair follicles. Sometimes we have thinner or finer spots naturally. Most people have baby hairs or finer hairs around their hairline and in their temple. And this is completely normal for these areas to be a little bit thinner than the rest of your hair. Okay, and the third reason is that hair thins sporadically, not evenly. Men especially will usually have a bad side when it comes to losing their hair. Hair may fall out in patches or even chunks. And there are many different medical reasons as to why you may be experiencing hair loss. Some common examples are medications, surgery, quitting smoking, weight loss, stress, being exceptionally sick, and even our eating habits are all things that can affect us losing our hair. If the thinning is something relatively new, then you may want to take a trip to your doctor just to get all kinds of things checked out to figure out what is causing your hair loss. Your hair may be trying to tell you something. Okay, now let's talk about some solutions. So this one's particularly if you have not switched your part in a very long time. And the obvious answer is to switch your part. And I know for some people that it may feel like an identity crisis to switch your part, but ultimately this is what your hair needs. If one side is significantly thinner than the other, then you're likely gonna have to keep it switched to the other side for quite a while. But if you've only just noticed a little bit of thinning or that the one side is a little thinner than the other, then try switching your part regularly. I actually try to switch my part every time I wash my hair. This will help you avoid running into this issue to begin with. Switching your part will also help to give you a little bit more volume on the top of your hair, which is an added bonus. Now, I wanna talk about what to do if you have a cowlick and you have a very hard time switching your part. This may actually be why you've parted your hair in the same place for a prolonged period of time because your hair doesn't wanna lay the other direction. If you fit into this situation, I hear you. This can be extremely frustrating and cowlicks are really hard to deal with. And while your cowlick won't likely ever go away completely, there are still some things that you can do to try to switch your part. The hair does get used to being worn in the same direction for a prolonged period of time, and you can switch it up with a little bit of training. Now, this doesn't mean that your cowlick is gonna go away forever, but it can help a little bit. The first thing is to blow dry your hair instead of letting it air dry. So blow drying your hair in the direction that you want it to lay will help it lay down a little bit better. And I recommend using some products like a blow dry spray or even better, a blow dry gel in your hair before you blow it dry. This will help to give it a little bit more of a firm hold to help it stay down. You can also use a firm hold hairspray after your hair is already dry. Another thing you can do is add clips or bobby pins just to hold the hair in place. This will put some pressure on the hair and get it used to being worn in the opposite direction. Another tip is to go relatively deep with the part. So if you're used to wearing your hair parted right here, but you have a cowlick here, rather than just moving it over slightly, try moving it over significantly. So parting your hair way over on this side will add a lot more weight to the hair that's going to be laying over here. That will help it to stay down a little bit better because it's got more weight to it. Now my last tip is something that I only want you to try if you have tried all of the other options because this one does have a little bit of risk to it but i just wanted to share it as a potential solution a hair cutting trick for weakening a cowlick is to take thinning shears and cut right at the base of the cowlick. This again works with the strength and numbers theory. When you're removing some of the hair, you're weakening the cowlick. Now I wanna say you have to be very careful when doing this method on any hair that's on the top of your head 
particularly in the front, because when those hairs start to grow back, they may wanna stand straight up. This isn't always the case as I've had this method work really well for some people, but depending on your colic in particular, the hairs may wanna stand straight up as they start to grow out. Okay, so next I wanna suggest using some thickening hair products on the thinner side. Now this could be products that not only stimulate and help promote new hair growth, but also that just make the hair feel a little bit fuller so it looks a little more even. In the description below, I'm going to link all of my favorite products, but ultimately you'll want to make sure you're using a thickening shampoo and conditioner, a thickening spray or a thickening spray gel, which is my favorite. And typically you'll use this before you blow dry your hair. And if you want, you can only use it on the side that is thinner, just so the hair appears a little more even. And then after your hair is dry, you'll want to use a dry texture spray. This is similar to a dry shampoo and will give your hair a little bit more body texture and movement movement on the thinner side. Now, as far as supplements go, I definitely want to recommend getting some biotin and collagen. These are natural supplements that promote hair and nail growth. Now I have found that the liquid biotin tends to work better than the pills or the capsules. And I think this is just because of how our body breaks it down. It's easier for our bodies to digest the liquid than it is to break it down in a pill form. And lastly, minoxidil. So minoxidil is the chemical that is in hair loss products like Rogaine. And this chemical does work depending on the reason for your hair loss. Just keep in mind that you have to use these products religiously and if you stop using them, they're gonna stop working. Now, I've even heard about some dermatologists prescribing oral microdosing of minoxidil to treat hair loss. I don't know a whole lot about this, but this could be something worth bringing up to your doctor. Okay, and the last solution is to visit a hair loss clinic. If you've tried all of the above and you don't see any results, then it may be time to dig a little bit deeper and figure out what's going on here. The clinic will evaluate as to why your hair may be falling out, as well as recommend you different solutions. They normally offer laser treatments as well as PRP treatments. And both of these things will target the hair follicles that have died and regenerate them kind of similar to stem cells. Now I wanna point out that it's definitely better to start treatments sooner rather than later. If you wait a long time until the hair follicles have been dead for a while, they might not be able to be brought back. All right guys, that is gonna be it for this video. If you have any further questions about your hair thinning on one side and not the other side, leave it for me in the comments below. And make sure you subscribe if you wanna make every day a good hair day.